hello guys this is the redmi 9t and today we'll be talking about this beautiful device from xiaomi and we'll get to see This is the main board and you will notice that the main camera is attached. It is 48 megapixel main camera. It has no wires, but it takes quality photos as you expect of a mid-range device. Then you also have the 8 megapixel ultra wide, the 2 megapixel depth sensor and the 2 megapixel macro. Then up front, as you see here, is the 8 megapixel front camera. Which is pretty dope now our attention i'll turn my attention to the processor the processor you see that there is a little paste there then at the back you see the copper tipping now the purpose of the copper tipping is to help absorb heat which is pretty dope then at the, the other side you see that there is this paste that help to cool down the system this is much better from xiaomi unlike the redmi 9 that we saw down uh, some time back that has no copper tipping i'll leave a link in the description below where you can check that out then the top speaker of the redmi 90 still looks bigger than the one we saw in the redmi 9 and by the way if you have a, if you are enjoying this video a sub to the channel would be very nice the bottom board has nothing really peculiar what you just see there is the typical uh, usb port type c then you also see the vibrator module very visible at the bottom but instead of the 3.5mm jack to be at the bottom it's at the top as you can see right here i just need to point that out then our attention turns to the battery you know the movie battery can be quite troublesome and i don't know why i really don't like using the pull tab so i'll just use my tool as well i think i just clicked or cut the 
ribbon cable at that button let's see let me take out the battery to have a closer look at that let me try and peel out the battery oh yes i think i damaged that pleasurable now this ribbon cable just got damaged by my tool and i there is definitely going to be consequences so i don't know will it be affecting the screen will it makes will it be making the battery not charge well what will go wrong when i turn on this device i literally have no idea but for now let's focus on the battery and get the tear down video done so this is the 6000 mAh battery from jami and according to jami this phone can reverse charge which is very incredible and the 6000 mAh battery is very good that it can reverse charge so what is the conclusion of this device this is the inside of the redmi 90 it's pretty dope the camera setup is nice it has a good cooling system with a nice chipset the snapdragon 662 which is also good uh this phone will be good for gaming because the cooling system is efficient enough for standard gaming not top level gaming then the battery capacity is big and is enough to keep the phone running for a very long time then the side magnetic fingerprint is also very good so overall this phone is very nice so i can't help but wonder as i go through all this stuff and putting the phone back together what will happen when i turn this phone on will it even come on it should come on but what will happen okay the phone is on uh the screen is working fine everything looks pretty good let me check the camera the camera is also okay from what i can see uh okay so what could be wrong with the device i don't know so i'll have to spend more time with the device uh, i hope nothing gets bad from the device let me take a picture with the camera to see if it's still within that quality yep yeah, it's nice camera okay, so this is the inside of the redmi 90 if you have any question leave them in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification and follow me on twitter and instagram at techran it's me the inside man and i hope to see you guys in my next one and keep watching this space i'll be telling you guys what happened to the redmi 90 if anything actually gets damaged see you guys in the next one peace